with uh, the adoption of the uh, bill, uh, it now becomes the law that uh, Anglophones are going to have to take a lot more French courses, second language French courses. Are you worried, and there was quite a backlash, as you know, uh, from, uh, from that liberal amendment. Are you concerned that is uh, going to play against you now that it's becoming official, it's in the bill, it's in the law, the law is now adopted? Uh, do you think that will come back and haunt you in the election? I think people realize that, first of all, we voted against Bill 96, and there are many reasons why we voted against Bill 96. People are really preoccupied, whether it's regarding health care, whether it's regarding uh, the, the CGIP and the fact that people cannot enroll as much as they could, uh, whether it's regarding uh, the, uh, the, non, uh, the non-withstanding clause. And I think they're realizing that the party standing out there uh, and saying no to Bill 96 is the Liberal Party. And I think I'm pretty confident that people will realize that. But the, uh, the the amendment that you propose, do you think that will haunt you? Uh, uh, now, now with Madame uh, Mopetsi's writing coming open, uh, uh, there are more and more writings on the island that could swing where the CAC placed second in, in, the, in a close vote uh, in October. Uh, plus you have all this division of the vote. Do you think this will haunt your, your campaign, this, this, this very uh, specific amendment? That I think, a lot of Anglophones don't like. I think um, I, I think I don't take anything for granted, uh, Mr. Otier, but I'm confident that people will realize that when it was time to stand up for what was right regarding Bill 40, regarding Bill 9, regarding uh, uh, Bill 21, uh, the Liberal Party was there to stand up for what was right, and again today we stood up for what was right.